Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. I'm really excited because I'm gonna do another lip swatching. And lip swatching is honestly one of my favorite videos to film just because I love lip products. I love testing them out. I love seeing the colors. I love the new formulas and all that really good stuff that goes along with swatching lip products. Um, but today we are going to be looking at the new It Cosmetics Pillow Lips Solid Serum. And it says it's a five-in-one lip serum and tinted gloss. So it's supposed to help with up to four hours of hydration. Sorry, got a little tongue-tied there. Um, have instant shine, just give you a flush of color. Um, no feathering on the lips and then visibly revitalized lips. So I'm assuming what they really mean by that is like if your lips look pale, dead, and dry, this will help bring a little life into them. There are eight colors here and it says that it's actually um, one of the, a few of the ingredients are collagen, hyaluronic acid, and tri-oil complex. Tri-oil complex. I'm assuming that means that this tri-oil complex is very nourishing and uh, hydrating for the lips. I'm going to take off the color that I have on my lips right now, which is the Revlon Kiss Cushion Lip Tint in, oof, what's the name, Rose something, Rose, Fancy Rose. These are my favorite makeup wipe removers. Neutrogena. If you don't know, now you know. These are the bomb. I don't have a stand-up mirror, so I'm going to use my Too Faced compact mirror. How cute is that, huh? Super cute. Hmm. This first color is 1111. This is the packaging. It just says it pillow lips solid serum on the front. And you can see it's one of those clickable lip applicator things. Okay. When you open it, this is what it looks like. So it kind of looks like just a lipstick that you would twist, but apparently it's not. So you would just like click it. I always like to keep count, so I know. Five, six, oh, it's slightly raising up a little. Okay, it's starting to raise up the more I click it, so that was easy. That was like maybe six cl clicks. All right, so 1111 is going on my lips. <gasps> Whoa. That's pigmented. That's way more pigmented than I thought. Oh, this is cute. I'm not going to put on like a really heavy color on because she's over here like so the reason I'm keeping it more on the lighter side and not applying it heavy handed is because it's only supposed to be a tinted gloss. And so if it's just a tint, you just get a tint. That's it. Well, this is a very pretty color. I really like this. I think it's something that you could definitely wear during the spring or summer um, because it gives you that really nice popsicle stained uh, effect on the lips depending on your uh, lip color as well, your natural lip color. I'm gonna clean it off a little bit. Okay, 
Turquoise is the next color that we're going to be doing. Oh, this is a bit of a brownie color. I don't know if it's going to have a red undertone or what, but we're just going to click it up. And as we're clicking upwards, it's going to just push up a little bit. I like how it just goes little by little and it's not like too much because then you waste product. So this has a purpley undertone to it. I like it. I like this a lot. Can't complain. The formula feels very buttery. Um, nothing too buttery though, where it just will slide off the lips or feel like it's not, it's just gonna kind of fade away. But it's like there's a little stickiness to it, just a tiny, tiny bit. Or I shouldn't even call it stickiness. It's just like a tackiness. Is that the same thing? I feel like sticky is worse than tacky. Like it's stickier than tacky. Maybe that's why it's called sticky. But um, it just has, it just feels like it's really adhering to the lips instead of eventually it just kind of going away. Next color I'm grabbing is called Humble. And Humble is actually my favorite pillow lip color in the lipstick collection that they have. So it's just such a pretty color and I'm excited to see this one because I feel like I'm gonna fall in love with it. Okay, just raise it up a little bit, tiniest bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply. Oh yeah. <laughs> this one I'd go a little heavier on just because it's much more neutral color. I'm a huge, huge fan of neutrals and natural colors on the lips, on the eyes, on the cheeks, everywhere. I'm like a very big neutral natural fan. So having something to just pop on your lips that has this sort of tint to it really, really makes me happy because it's something you can wear just about anywhere. Um, you can even wear this to like the grocery store. And I'm not the type of person that's really extra that goes all dolled up to the grocery store. I'm just not. Uh, there are other people there like that and that's totally fine, you do you. But for me, I'll go with no makeup on. But, I guess I should just say pre-COVID days. Oh, we didn't have to wear a mask. This is something that I just would pop onto my lips, even with no makeup on. Just some really good skincare, moisturizer, serum. I love serums. I wear them day and night because I have a really dry skin. And so I don't mind an extra, like, oiliness on my face. Um... But yeah, so I'm really such a huge fan of this one. I love it. So far that one's my favorite. Moving on to the fourth color, which is called Like a Dream. Mmm. Mm. This reminds me of Humble. Except this one has more of a pink undertone to it as, as opposed to Humble, which has more of a brownie tone undertone. This again is a beautiful, neutrally natural color. One that isn't too in your face, but just gives a really nice um, revitalizing look to the lips with just a tint. I feel like when I was younger, more was always better for me. Like, always. The more pigment, the more glitter, the more turquoise, pink, whatever. Now that I'm older and I'm in my almost, like a year shy from being 35, so almost mid-30s, is I love 
products and colors that make my face just look very young <laughs> that look very hydrated and fresh and natural um, I don't mind added glam with like liner and lashes at all and also I will do like a an occasional red lip or dark lip I'm totally okay with that um, but I just I really love colors like this and so when I can find one that I just I adore then it's good so I'm a fan of this color is what I'm trying to say Marvelous is next Now this one is taking longer. Oh, this might be defected actually guys Which I don't mind because oh no, it just got stuck or er, Yeah, this thing is defected Maybe I'm pushing too fast. There's just a bit of a delay Okay. Well, I believe this has a little bit of glitter in it This has like a silver and pink glitter to it. That's that color. I mean, that's very pretty. I like that it's super, super subtle, but a little louder than what I usually wear. I can do something like this, like even on a natural day. I don't mind that. moment well that's a little vampy I think somebody's shuffling outside okay that is moment Moment is on the darker side. It's like a wine color. Wink is next. So wink is more of a coral. Tint, which I can see looking super divine on tan skin in the summer. I would definitely wear this. Let's go on to Wistful. I love this color. Another knockout neutral color. Oh man. Yep, definitely top three. All right, guys, that is the end of swatching. Now let me tell you what my thoughts are. First, I love the white packaging. You gotta look at packaging first. I mean, it just speaks to you. It's the first thing that you see, right? It's what your eyes gravitate towards. So I love anything white and clean, very minimal as well. And this all hits all of those um, uh, likes on my list when I'm looking for a new lip product or just a new makeup product in general. So aside from the packaging, what I really love is the fact that these are actually um, in lipstick form without them being a lipstick. Many of you have probably tried lip tints, kind of like the Revlon Kiss Cushion lip tints. And as you can see that it comes with a sponge, you twist it up and the product comes out and kind of stays on that sponge and you just kind of blot, blot it onto your um, lips for a tinted look. Now this, because it is a lip tint, but also in lipstick form, it it actually, I feel like it's a lot more sanitized <laughs> as opposed to something like 
this, which can probably collect a lot of bacteria on the sponge tip after a while. Um, but also I think you get a lot more product in this and it makes it just a lot easier to apply. I love the glossiness of the formula. The formula is not sticky, but it really adheres to the lips. So what I mean by that is that although it does have a gloss, it doesn't feel like it's slipping and sliding everywhere or bleeding outside of your lips because of the glossiness. Sometimes glosses are too heavy and just too much that they'll start to like feather out, which is why it says that there's no feathering involved in this even though there's a glossy effect to, to it. Um, as you can see, it just makes my lips look so much more full. Um, I have full lips just naturally. It's, it's not a lip plumper, right? For people who have thinner lips um, or looking for like the juicy lip effect, whatever. <laughs> whatever people are calling it now these days, I don't even know. Um, but, uh, but what it does is when your lips look uh, more hydrated and glossier it's going to give the effect of bigger lips even if you don't have bigger lips so um, that's what I, I really like about it and I love that it um, when you're clicking it upwards that it really is going little by little by little so that not too much product gets pushed all the way up and you're not wasting product or um, or you know um, in fear that it's it's gonna break off or something and if you don't know it cosmetics first came out with the original pillow lips formula in lipstick form um, these are just regular lipsticks they come in the matte and the cream um, formulas uh, and all of these colors that we have in the solid serum are actually in the original as well so we have wistful here um, which looks like this as you can see very beautiful color both in the serum and the regular um, matte formula and if you haven't seen swatches of this I do have a video that is completely dedicated to swatching these colors on my lips so I'll link that, I'll link that down below uh, so you guys can check it out and if you have checked it out already and you just want to see just a refresher you can go ahead and check that as well so thank you guys so much for tuning in on this video i hope that this helped for anybody who is looking into buying themselves some solid serums or just kind of saw them and was just a little interested in what they may look like on the lips um I hope that you enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys very soon. Thank you all for tuning in today. I hope to see you guys very, very soon in my next video. Bye.